Hello everyone and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5. This is part 7, where last time we recruited Quiet to our cause. And by recruited Quiet, I mean stunned her, chucked her in a helicopter, had her disappear, fought off a uh, an aircraft that was uh, attacking us, uh, and then we chucked her in a cell uh, where she's just listening to some tunes. Uh, so we're going to try and get some intel out of her. Miller's not happy. Ocelot's like, don't worry about it, boss. We'll we'll sort it out. But there's definite tension at Mother Base right now. So what better way to ignore that tension on a beautiful day aboard Mother Base on my aerial, like, sorry, above Mother Base, uh, aboard the Aerial Command Center, where we're going to look at our next missions to, to tackle. Now, if we have a look at our mission list, um, if we have a look at our mission list... We do have uh, three main missions here. Uh, occupation Forces, Back Up, Back Down, and Angel with Broken Wings, uh, which we uh, have not yet gotten to since uh, we pushed ahead to Cloaked in Silence. Uh, so that's going to be the main focus, is to get through some of those and obviously doing some unique side ops while we're there as well. Um, but we'll, we will definitely just see how we go uh, this episode. Let me just accept my online rewards uh, but yeah I think I think first things first is we should jump into a main mission uh, so we're gonna do occupation forces uh, so it says eliminate the colonel who has been reassigned from uh, Sakai village to Smase fort and prevent the tanks from redeploying the Smase Laman was full of Mujahideen the Hamid fighters then suddenly they disappeared overnight and the Soviets moved right in I guess the old fort is still in good enough shape that the Soviets want to use it as is. This means that the battalion commander stationed in Sakai village, a lieutenant colonel, is moving his operations room to the fort. Word is, he's an excellent leader. With him stationed at Smasi Fort, the Soviet forces in the area will operate all the better. And according to the client's information, he'll be bringing a tank unit to the fort as well. We don't know the redeployment date or the route they'll take. But there must be some planning documentation where the colonel is. You have two objectives. Eliminate the colonel and stop the tank deployment. Counting on you, boss. Cool. Extract the commander. <laughs> Extract the colonel. And then disrupt these plans. I love that it's always like, you have two objectives. And then, obviously, you have seven. Because there's going to be five hidden objectives of bonus things you can do. Accepted. Um, let's go in as close as we can. Drop on in. Cool. Um, so, these, uh, these missions in particular, uh, don't seem like, they don't seem too bad, you know? The missions don't seem too bad, like, too story heavy, I think. Like, the mission 11 that we jumped ahead to is not gonna be, like, we haven't missed, like, a crucial part. Um, we'll just have to wait and see, but, um, I think it's been mentioned to me, uh, in my lovely Discord that I'll be fine. Um, by skipping ahead a few episodes, I haven't missed anything. Uh, nothing's been spoiled, it's just like, it's fine. Let's get into the mission. I've been told to uh, try and stay aware of what I'm actually taking into my missions as well because obviously when you deploy uh, it costs GMP um, so I've taken it, I've like halved it, it was costing me like 10k to jump in <laughs> so now it's cost like around 5 so you can like adjust your inventory to make the, make the deployments cheaper and then I guess you could probably pick up items as you go OSP um, or just, you know, not have to go in with, I'm going in with absolutely everything. You just go in with like a couple of things and, and see how you go. Occupation forces. Now, just in case these missions don't seem like they're going to be like hugely story heavy, like episode 11, but we are going to look away just in case. Has two objectives. Eliminate the colonel scheduled to take up a post at Smasi Fort and stop the deployment of his tank unit. Your first move should be to head to Sakai village and search for the colonel and his deployment plans. Alright, we're good. 
Um, the mission. So we have to eliminate tanks. We do have C4 on us. But I'm going to assume there must be some sort of... Uh, there must be some heavy weaponry that we can pick up on the way. This Masi Laman was full of Mujahideen. This colonel oversees several outposts in the area. And now he's got his sights set on... I love that you can play both at the same time. I say he's a formidable soldier. Be careful. This colonel oversees several outposts in the area. And now he's got his sights set on Smasi Fort. All reports say he's a formidable soldier. Be careful. Okay, so... Right. So they'll be, like, going from one base to the other. That's the village where the target is stationed. You should start your search there. Okay. Be careful down there, boss! We're pretty close. Now, yeah, we've got 4C4. Um, to take out enemy combat vehicles, you want to use explosive weaponry. Missiles, grenades, placed explosives. If you haven't developed these yet, use your iDroid to give the order. Choose your weapon according to the situation. I'm gonna see if we can I'm gonna see if we can procure um I'm gonna see if we can procure like a rocket launcher or something. Something that can shoot missiles. But if not, we've got grenades, we've got C4. Um, and I can just develop. I can just develop what we need. I mean, the dude is pretty keen on me already. Analysis complete. Very keen, very keen eyesight on this gentleman. He's in. He's ready. He's ready to go, dude. Just waiting to see when this light, because this light's about to come across. Do a bit of that. Do a bit of that. Where are your friends? Thank you. Spit it out. Thank you. Good. Good. Good information. Good information from this fellow. Now he can go to sleep. Awesome. All right. Uh, and we got the building that we want to go to. He's given us the location of one other person. Gotta like potentially blow this up as well at one point. There you go. Got his attention. Why don't you come check me out, dude? You come check me out. Because I'm going around the outside. I can. Hold on. Oh, hang on, we got a prisoner nearby. Oh, and we got the communications equipment in there. Oh, I think the prisoner's in here too. Cool. Yep, I can hear him. Alright, we have to disable the communications equipment from here. Just need to get this dude to chill out. Alright, he's gonna stand right there. Where are the others? Speak. Get down. I was hoping that he wouldn't have take I like, wouldn't take notice there because I kind of didn't mean to hold him up, but we did anyway. Hello, prisoner. Yes, for real. 
I'll free you. Let's put you down. Get you out of here. See you later. Um, destroy some of that. Cool. Okay, subject is in. Just be careful, because I highly doubt a uh, location of this size would only have three people in it. But we need to make our way upwards. Um, I wonder how our chances are at procuring a rocket launcher here, or whether I should just call it in. I might just have to call it in. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if C4 will be enough. Hang on, what's it? This next building? Looks like I can open this door. Oh, yep, hello. Sorry, I forgot to knock. I hope it's okay that I'm here. Give me the intelligence. Intel file extraction arrived at mother base. Mission info has been updated. The map has been updated. Oh, hang on. Ah. Boss, that document you just got is the deployment plans for the Smasi Ford reinforcements. According to the plans, the Colonel is supposed to join up with the tank unit of Smasi Ford. Those tanks being on the move doesn't make things easy. Hurry, boss. Okay. I've sent the tank units route to your right droid. Shit. Alright. Uh they're gaining quickly. Alright. Uh first things first. Supply drop. Uh this guy. Please select a drop for supplies requested. I just need to get down. I just need to get out of here. they're going to... yeah. Imagine if they... nah, that goes out of the mission area. That's okay. Um, cool. Will I have time to lay my C4 down on the road? Well, what I could do is at least use the C4 as a distraction to, like, stop the convoy. And then just Peg grenades at them. Alright, they're, they're closing in. Let's put C4 down. What's the distance? How far apart are they? They're actually like a decent distance apart. Because I'm like, do we want to drop it in sequence? Obviously we can only de detonate one by one. But if we let one get over, and we just kind of go for it. We'll see how we go. And then... We let loose with the rocket launcher. Okay, let's see how this works. <laughs> Actually... Hang on. Just in case. Yeah, there's a person not in a tank, he's in a truck. Alright, are you ready? Oh my god, it spotted us! No! Oh my god! Holy fuck! No! I just killed the target! Fuck! I thought he would- I thought if I, like, at least damaged the truck he would get out. Shit. No! I was supposed to extract the dude. Oh fuck. Come on. Why can't I whistle for my horse? Come on horse. 
Oh! Holy shit. Dude. Okay, these tanks are really accurate. These tanks are insanely accurate. I can aim the- uh, cool, I can aim the rocket on the tank. Good stuff. Well, rest, rest in peace to that commander, I guess. I think we got the tank. Nice. How good was, this, was that C4 placement, though? If only that I placed it so it didn't damage the truck. That's right, I can always- oh, I can always replay this mission. Yeah, there we go, I think we got him. It's on fire. We can always re- yeah! <laughs> nice! We can always replay the mission and just extract him another time. Good. You've completed the objective. Now get out of there. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Nice! That was actually that was actually sweet. <laughs> we were so close. Oh my god. Dude. We were so close. Check out that vehicle. I wanna extract that guy. Are we out of the missionary yet? I can't believe how close we were on the horse just then we're like, oh quick, hide. <laughs> That didn't go exactly according to plan. Because we did want to extract the commander. We accidentally murdered him. But that's okay. I'll retry it my own time, we'll extract him. But I, I gotta say, all things considered... All things considered, that kind of went off basically without a, hit, uh, without a hitch. Because we did do what we were supposed to do and eliminate him. How, how big is this mission area, dude? Oh, no, wait, hold on. The mission area is this whole place, isn't it? So, essentially, I'm never getting out of here until I go around there. Okay. Um, in that case, um, I will extract fire chopper, then. Excuse me. That is a bit too convenient. I was like, okay. Fuck me. Yeah, guys, I'm psychic. I like. I can just feel. I can just feel it. I can just feel it in the land when there's a chopper pickup spot nearby. That was weird. Huh. Oh, that's one main mission down. We weren't able to recruit the dude, but that's fine. Nice. This colonel oversees several outposts in the area, and now he's got his sights set on Smasi Fort. All reports say he's a formidable soldier. Be careful. Yeah, he would have made a great. He would have made a great team. There's two mission, two objectives that we didn't do. I wonder if that's like, if I can take a guess, it's probably like extract the commander. That seems like the obvious one. This is be quiet. And then maybe. Destroying the tanks in a particular way or something. <laughs> Extract the tanks. <laughs> get a get a fault and recovery that's strong enough and then extract all the vehicles while they're in transit. That would be insane. Alright. Get me out of here. Awesome. Cool. Uh, one mission down. Um, another two to go. I believe. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Lovely. Mission complete, boss. Oh, cool. So we got we got a bonus. Uh, eliminate the colonel and all tanks before they reach the fort. So we could have actually just let them reach the location, then blown them up a different way. 
and then extracted the guy. That would have probably been a smarter choice. Maybe. Uh, but we're all about efficiency. Uh, so there you go. There was no, no spoilers in those credits. That's fine. Cute. Alright. That's that mission down, and um, I think we'll just we'll just move. Yes, I finally have the combat unit. Boss, we're finally ready to put together a combat unit. Yes. Staff assigned to the unit will be dispatched as mercenaries to conflict zones. That should guarantee us a stable source of income. Merc deployment allows you to send combat unit staff on relatively easy missions suited to the unit's level. There's little risk, but the rewards are low too. However, there are also contracts known as dispatch missions that offer a higher risk and reward. Give your orders to undertake these missions using your iDroid. Cool. Dispatch missions make a return. Good stuff. Special volunteers. Dude, why does he have a Diamond Dogs tattoo on his face? He's and her. They're dedicated to the cause. Remember the guys you brought back from the base in Cuba nine years ago? Believe it or not, some of them survived that hell we went through. Word reached them that Big Boss is back and they want it in. Hmm. They're good men. Our brothers in fate. They'll be glad to know you've seen them here. So, that keeps that keeps happening. Which is very interesting. These are some good ranked individuals. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, thank you. Wow. Oh. Uh, bit of Vulture. Your name suits you, you can fuck off. <laughs> Everyone else, well done! You can join. Uh, thank you for being here. Alright, maybe I'll actually do some mother base allocations and I'll do some missions and mess around with some things. And then we'll jump right into the next, uh, the next main mission. I like that Quiet's like in the brig, which is quite cool and you can see like her skills, so... Um, we're gonna get her at some point, um, but we've got managed to get a decent amount uh, of existing mother base staff into the combat unit, so it's looking pretty, looking pretty good. Um, so I'm, I'm enjoying that. Um, and then because I've got a couple in the combat unit, I think we can do combat development, which is when we send them on missions. Please select a mission. Okay, so it's got like. Damn, they'll be gone for three days. Uh, they have ones that are literally already top tier difficulty. I think these are like online ones. Judging by the... Because um, they're like the same color as the challenges where they're like highlighted. Oh, there you go. Yeah, dispatch missions online. Dispatch missions. So we can just do these and they all take like under an hour. Or we got all of these and they take days. And they're like much more difficult. The stuff you get is really cool, though. All right, well let's let's do you know let's start it off nice and easy. So you can choose who to. All right, their fighting ability is fifty. So let's just chuck in. Okay, so there's multiple units. I get it. Okay, you can actually assemble a unit properly. Yeah, I might just go with like units that are already like pre put together, I don't mind. Uh, 13 minutes. Alright, staff recruitment, anywhere from C to E. Um, you get GMP for all of them. Ooh. Some have much more GMP than others though. Okay, all right. I see what you're going for here. Um, let's hit those heavy GMP-related missions. Unit dispatched. And that's it. Okay. So as we get more combat people, that'll be great. Uh, we also do have um, some cassette tapes that we just got by coming back to Mother Base that are related to Quiet. Ah, oh, we can also make brand new platforms. Let's make a combat platform. First one. Commencing platform construction. Uh, let's make another R and D platform. Commencing platform construction. Okay, and now we no longer have enough resources specifically. That's okay. 
We'll have to get some more fuel resources, more common metal, more biological material. Cool. This is why I can't wait to upgrade the Fulton Recovery, because I want to be able to, like, get those actual, like, crates. Uh, the, like, the shipping containers of stuff. Cool. Before we jump into the next mission... More cassette tapes. So, Quiet. Quiet's missile interdiction sniping and events after Quiet's extraction. When Quiet first came here, she demonstrated her marksmanship against that enemy fighter plane. It showed she was much more than your everyday crack shot. Hitting a moving target from 600 meters is a challenge, but it's possible with the right training and equipment. But shooting down that missile... That's a world apart from taking out a soldier on patrol. The chopper and the missile were in motion, meaning different vectors at high velocity in three-dimensional space, and she shot an unguided bullet that had to fight air resistance and gravity. All that while the chopper was taking evasive maneuvers. Some of the best target leading I've ever known. She has a superhuman sense of spatial awareness. Mm. You put her in a fighter jet, and she'd be an ace right off the bat. Hell. Your judgment was top class, too. Realizing she could take out that pilot? That's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Foreshadowing? Still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard. And that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening. And? Well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. Poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing. That didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, or just plain stubborn, she won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff, the base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> so what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. When I look at her, I sense hesitation. You think she'd betray Cypher? Can't say for sure. I prefer the ones that talk. Anyway, we'll keep her under watch. And we're also looking into those special abilities of hers. You'll be the first to know if something comes up. Why not look in on her yourself once in a while? Right. Well, there's definitely special abilities there. Um, cool. While I'm in the ACC, I may as well run around to Mother Base and increase morale because everybody's goddamn fighting and I need to go and make people respect me. So I'll smack some sense into them. We'll go to the medical platform so I can check in on Quiet as well. Qu Quiet and her copyright mu music playing on the radio. Alright, she's still just chilling. Heavens Divide plays softly in the background. Hello. She ain't doing anything. What do you reckon? Can we, uh... Weather surveillance indicates turbulence out there. Try not to get knocked out of the sky. Got it. Where does she think she's going? 
You want to head out with the boss? That'll be the day. I don't see a problem with it, so long as she's with you. She's a crack shot, damn fine scout. Well suited for a clandestine op. Which is more than I can say for the others. There's nothing damn fine about this... thing. Here. Hey. Blades. <laughs> Wait a minute, that thing costs a lot of money. Shooting through the blades. She can see each individual blade and her depth perception. Ocelot's got a crush. One in. This is ridiculous. She doesn't talk. How could you possibly stay in communication? Right. I like working solo anyway. Curious. Well, always a good idea to, uh, nice, uh, always good to make sure that when Ocelot or Miller or anyone says, hey, come back to base and do this sometime, go back to the base because it means you're going to get a cutscene. Because we went back to the base to check on Quiet and nothing happened, and I was like, oh, okay. I guess he's just saying that, but then as I call in a chopper to go and leave, a scene plays, so it's it's cool to see uh, stuff like that. So we just got to pay attention to when they ask us to come back to Mother Base, it's because we're about to, like, it's it's never for no reason. So there you go. Uh, so we almost had Quiet come with us there, but I love that Miller was able... Miller was the one that was able to be like, hey, something's not right here. Uh, but that's really cool. Um, we got a couple uh, a couple of new uh, cassette tapes now uh, from that. Events after Quiet's extraction and Quiet on Mother Base. Boss, Quiet still hasn't made any moves. It's got me thinking. What? If you took her on a mission, she might break her silence. You want to let her out? Sure. Make her no different to the others. Everyone you pick up works for themselves, right? But her. I say work with her. See what happens. I wouldn't ask this of anyone but you. On missions, I'll make sure we have someone observing from a distance, and she won't be allowed access to all of the base. As for Miller... Well, sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. The best part is, hiding is her specialty. If no one sees her leave the base, the staff will be none the wiser. And if she gets away, if that happens, you'll have to take care of her. But I have faith in you, boss. I think Quiet sees something in you. It's a big risk. But it's for the good of all of us. And besides, you can't deny her talent. Her unique skills and abilities would give you a hell of an edge out there. I'll think it over. Yeah, like the fact that like she can shoot each bullet through the helicopter blades is so cool. How long are we going to keep that woman here? What, you mean quiet? My personal feelings aside, she's putting everybody on edge. You should hear the stories. I got sick from just standing guard at her cell. I won't stand on the same platform as that witch. She hit me for no reason. What is this, a private army or a kindergarten? The thing is, they're all serious. They're faced with something they don't understand, and a kind of mass hysteria has broken out. I've gotten wind of countless plots to take her out. 
There are no grounds for this suspicion whatsoever. Put yourself in her shoes, assuming they see her as a prisoner here. No, even more so, if they do, she deserves to be treated humanely. I always thought our men were a bit more noble-minded, but... Look, I understand this is a stressful line of work, but to make her the scapegoat? You've got it wrong. Quiet? She's with Cypher. We have men that lost their buddies to her organization. But you could say that about more than just her. Plenty of the men used to fight for another side. But they've all put that aside to work for the boss. Cypher is different. And if you ask me, the boss is the biggest problem. Why is he protecting her? Some of the guys are starting to suspect him of... I don't agree with keeping her here either. So what's your move? Throw her out? Kill her? <sighs> She's our ticket to Cypher. And her physical abilities are outstanding. We could use someone like her. That'll make me sick. Her marksmanship, speed, stealth capabilities for a start. Then, there are the other things we've learned. Quiet appears to be able to use both eyes as master eyes simultaneously. That lets her track targets of different focal lengths at once. While looking through the scope with one eye, she can look for new targets with the other. Jesus. That's why she doesn't need a spotter. She can operate alone, no matter the circumstances. See, I told you she's a freak. No one would be able to control her. No, there's one person who could. Hey, you trying to get the boss killed? Well, why don't we talk to him? Hmm? See if he's willing to take her along. I don't like this. It's his decision to make. The two of them might even make a good team. <sighs> oh, so maybe that conversation happened just before... Um, that conversation happened just before... We had that scene on the helicopter. So there you go. I'm loving that, but it's very curious. Miller is losing faith in the boss, and it's coming out in his in his frustration there. There's there's so much tension. You can just taste it. So much tension. Please select a mission. Next mission that we'll jump into is back up, back down. Rebel guerrillas um, are launching an offensive. Eliminate as many vehicles as possible in order to weaken the Soviet's reinforcements. Let's fight some guerrilla fighters. Why don't we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Mission accepted. Um, we've got so it's multiple targets. Mission not accepted. Wait a minute. Eliminate as many fighting vehicles as possible. Ah, so there's going to be vehicles just roaming the lands. That makes sense. Um, in that case, we'll drop near the barracks. And because it's vehicle related, uh, we will drop in with the Grom. Makes sense to me. Got some C4, got grenades. Ready to go. Okay. We don't we don't have we don't have quiet. Not yet. Not yet. But we will. Deploying. But we will. Alright, I'm ready for a new mission. Back up! Back down! Love the play on words there. Let's not look at the credits. Look away quickly! Your objective is to eliminate as many enemy combat vehicles as you can. For this mission, we're back up for the guerrillas offensive. That means our mission isn't over until theirs is. Keep an eye on the remaining time. Okay. So we're on the same we're on the same side. Ah, okay. Can we do it from the? Are we doing it from the helicopter? No, because we picked a landing zone. Once you spotted incoming reinforcements, their location will be added to your iDroid too. Yeah! Quick, just shoot from here. <laughs> just shoot him from here. Oh, oops. So already kind of let him know. That's fine. All right. I got it. Just 
time until the gorillas. Operation is over, and we have to kill at least one. Looks like we got two targets. Oh, it's on this. Oh. The map has been updated. Oh, this is the mission area. All right, we better hurry up. Enemy presence oh shit! Fucking horse! One at a time. One at a time. This horse is goddamn quick. Speedy. Speedy horse. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. Mm. The targets are now on the move. I've sent their predicted route to your iDroid. Check your map. You need to <coughs> Combat vehicles as possible Enemy before the gorilla's offensive ends. Check your eye droid for the target's location. Okay, we'll just sneak past this guard post. Enemy prison detected. The map has been updated. Yeah. Yeah. And let's go! Begins. Oh, okay. And oh, oh! I didn't. I thought I was. <gasps> no! Oh, thank God, you survived, horse. I thought I just killed you. I thought I was. I thought I was far enough away. Whoa. Boss, we have information on new targets. Check your iDroid for that predicted route. I thought I was. Uh, my horse is now literally ash. <laughs> right, I need to get onto this. Let's cross over. Oh, Jesus, man. Just another explosion. That's fine. Okay, we got one there. One there. Alright. This one's literally coming right for us. That's, that's working out in our favor. Let's try not to let's try not to murder our horse. I think that's probably gonna be a good idea. Yo. Two rockets and we're good. Yeah, no? Yeah. Felt like two rockets would have been good. Hand grenade Hand grenade. That hand grenade went a little off in the wrong direction. Alright, never mind. I'm bad at throwing hand grenades. It's confirmed. Alright, we're good. Yes. <gasps> Transporting a prisoner? Oh, dude. Maybe. Fuck me. Okay. Let's get this guy first. And then we gotta try and bust one out. And... Ready to fire... Now... Oh, I missed! I missed! That's such a shame. Just slow motion that whole time. We good, we good. Alright, let's go. Enemy prison detected. The map has been updated. Alright, boss. You've got other targets closing in. You can check their predicted route on your iDroid. The map has been updated. Well, that one's coming in from ages away. Predicted route is down there, so we can meet this dude here. Okay, gotcha. And we're not gonna blow up this truck. I actually love the mission variety in in these missions that we've been playing. Like, there's there's so much to do. I like that it's not just like copy and paste type deal. I appreciate that. They're like, hey, this isn't this is a main mission in order to progress. 
It's not immensely story heavy, but we're at least going to make it interesting for you. Okay. Good job, horse. Okay. There's a dude with a light right here. Oh, really? I did not think that... Oh, never mind. Yep, that's right. We've been seen. That's okay. <gasps> that's right. We're being speedy. Alright, I need my horse to be off. Oh, the ve they're still in the vehicle. Hold on. Get off! Get out! Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Yes, I shot him! Dude, that was so risky. Gotcha! Okay. Come here, sir. You're coming with me quickly. Dude, it was... That shot was literally like I shoot the prisoner in the head or I shoot the soldier's helmet off successfully. Amazing. Okay. Now while we're here, I need to do a supply drop of ammo. Uh, let's just chuck it right here. Oh, no, there's a target right there. Alright. Oh. I just need ammo first. Supply drop complete. Pew! That was probably a bit overkill. I'm just assuming that I'm gonna get fully um fully resupplied based on this guy. Oh god. So I just wanted to shoot a rocket quickly, please. Thank you. Alright. Come on, horse. Click. Yep. Oh, no. Not into the thing. Let's go. We're going after this one because it's closest. You got this horse. Where's the... Actually, no. The other one's coming in. Hang on. This guy. And then we'll just chase after the other one. While we're here. Good timing. Oh, off he goes. Alright. Thought it was going to stop. Ah, oh, dude, I'm wasting my shots here. Ah, uh, we missed one. That's a shame. We were very close to that one. Oh, we got it. Cool. Yeah, that is a shame. We were so close. We've only eliminated half the targets. At least we've eliminated half. I'm happy with that. Uh, that dude's... There's two coming from that way. This one coming from that way. Cool. Well, I'm just going to wait for this one to come in because there's no point in going to it. Because it's going to come... It's going to meet us and then we will go get the other two. I'll call in a supply drop on the way to... Going loud, baby. Yeah, we got more hand grenades too, so I'll be able to throw that. That's fine. I think I'll just meet it now at this point. Still got six minutes, that's fine. Surprise! Look at that slow motion explosion. So good. This is a truck as well, so it's gonna be. Whoop. Oh shit. What is with this throwing? Alright, we got it. 
I love that the dude just got out and ran for it too. Alright, where's this other... okay. Hello buddy, you didn't think you were getting away that easy. Get run over buddy. Hello everybody! Down, 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 down. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Alright, fuck it, I'm out of here. <sighs> we found him! Alright, I need to stop these guys in their tracks. I think I'm over the wrong... I'm over the wrong side. Hang on. Oh my god, come on horse. So engaging. Oh my god. What what Imagine missing one. Uh, I think I I think I just lost my horse. No, my horse is okay, but I'm not. Oh, we got one. Cool. Nice work, boss. The targets are almost history. Shit. Shit. Yep, come on. Come on. There we go. Enemy crew detected. The map has been updated. Oh, never mind. Um. Oh. Please select a drop point. We might lose it from the mission area. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose it. That's fine. I don't have enough. I'm just glad that my horse is still alive. Oh, that's right. I'm pretty pretty happy. Please select a drop point. Three minutes remaining. Supplies requested. We'll drop one in because there's probably going to be... There'll probably be another... vehicle that comes in. That's the target's predicted route. You can either move ahead Supply and cut it off, complete. or attack it from behind. And he's out of here. The target has left the mission area. There's no way to eliminate it now. Head for the remaining targets. The enemy reinforcements have stopped. Oh. No targets remaining. Boss, exfiltrate the hot zone. Well, that was a waste of GMP. Alright. That was a waste. That was the last target. We could have just ran after it. All right, let's get out of here. Just leave the leave the mission area. My other my other plan was I was gonna try and drop in the ammo like towards the end of the zone and then try and like ride ahead, but you know, maybe that's what I should have done. Zoom. Take that. Enemy grid detected. The map has been exfiltrated. That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Mission complete, boss. Extraction arrived at mother base. Mission complete. That was rough. Thanks for getting us through it. Cool name shark. Eliminated multiple fighting vehicles or gunships. I got five out of eleven. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. And again, just a just a standard, you know, just doing it, doing a mission to make progress. So that's okay. 
I'm glad we didn't miss anything big from jumping to episode 11 um, last time. So that's fine. Cool. We're a shark. The NGO that asked us to rescue wild oh. animals isn't ready to take them in yet. So we had no choice but to build an animal conservation platform. The NGO said they'll cover all expenses, including the day-to-day -day housing and feeding costs. Amazing. If you're interested, take a chopper over and have a look. Big Boss had a farm, dude. Amazing. <laughs> Do it. Defecate. Command for D-Horse, now available. You just look your horse dead in the eyes, you're like, Do it. Defecate. That'd be good for, like, you could, like, distract soldiers. You're like, take my smelly shit. Take my smelly shit and get out of here. Hey, we got a counselor skill on that dude. Nice. Boss, if you got time on your hands, come spend it back at the base. The men will miss you if you're gone too long. Ooh, we're getting asked to go back to the base again. Let's go back to the base. Um, maybe we should have just got extracted in the chopper. That would have been uh, that would have been the easy. The easy thing to do. No, oh, we're in the chopper anyway. Boss, a certain scientist has contacted us, wanting to defect from the east. His name is Emmerich. That's right. The name we knew is Huey. We suspect he was complicit in the attack on Mother Base nine years ago. He was working with Cipher. a long time for this. Dude. Dude, why would he want to defect back to us after betraying us? So he was with Cypher. Oh, that's just, that's just weird. A certain scientist wants to defect. Fucking Huey Emmerich, the dickhead. Alright. Staff morale. Let's have a clean up. Dude! Holy shit. Alright, so we automatically get taken back to Mother Base uh, for that scene to happen. Salute me, bitch. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. Um, we have an animal conservation area? No? Yes? Okay. Maybe... Maybe somewhere. We'll see. Uh, more side ops again now. It's a s make contact with Emmerich is a side op. How is that not a main mission? Head to Serac Power Plant. Make contact with the scientist, Dr. Emmerich, who wants to defect. Emmerich is suspected of being involved with the attack on Mother Base nine years ago. And then we got a whole bunch more uh, missions. Capture the legendary brown bear. Um, so it's an important side op. It's our first important side op. I just think that's weird. Um, I, I definitely think that's weird, right? That it wouldn't just be a main mission to do that. Nice. Good stuff. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break then. Um, and then what we're going to do is, before jumping in to go get Huey, uh, as much as I... Uh, as much as I want to... Ah, oh, that's all the dispatch mission rewards, that makes sense. I was like, why is there so much? Um, yeah, before jumping right into the Huey thing, we will complete the the other main mission to catch up, and then see where we're at for the rest. Someone put in a comment that you should, like, wait by one of these. I could literally only guess. <laughs> It's like, looking at the sign, I'm like, you can li <laughs> literally only guess what is supposed to happen if you do that. Didi, stay. Didi. Fully trained and ready for action. Dude. 
Did it. Go. <laughs> that was quick. Dude, DD has an eye patch. That's so fucking perfect, holy shit. Thanks, Ocelot. Dude! They grow up so fast, literally. Oh, that's so good. We got Dab Dog. Look at that face. We even got they even got him a little eye patch. Oh my god, I love that so much. Got ourselves a Diamond Dog. Cool. So we can start using D Dog as a buddy. Um, <clears throat> I wonder. Uh, it seems like D Dog would be like combat or even like finding items sniffing people out yay so he who mark stuff on the map that's so good. So he'll mark stuff on the map. <clears throat> I wonder if he was, yeah, like, you know, I uh, get him to wreck some, uh, wreck some enemies with me. I'd love that. Some more. Got some more photos on the board. Yeah, there we go. There's the photo. How good is that? That's so good. Perfect. Okay, we've got a D dog now. He's definitely coming with us on our mission. Please select a mission. Um, so, Angel with Broken Wings is the next main mission uh, that we're going to jump into. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll make contact with Emmerich. He looks so good. Alright, select buddy. Naked equipment, so you can probably get different equipment for them. Um, Use the keep him busy command to have him keep an enemy busy. Amazing. Um. <laughs> the, the behavior is so good. It's so realistic. I actually love that. What a good boy. Uh, let me... We don't need this. So we'll take that off. Feels pretty good. Extract the Mujahideen prisoner. Angel with broken wings. Deploying. Into the dead of night. With my D-Dog. Alright. Angel with broken wings sounds like a really nice title for the mission. So I'm wondering if there's any story stuff that's going to happen here. So we're definitely going to look away from the credits. There's, there's good names for these missions. But I'm like, man. A lot of stuff actually doesn't really happen. D-Dog will support your infiltration, so he'll place markers on an enemy. That's so good. Gonna be my stealthy boy. Alright. Angel with broken wings. Look away. Your mission is to rescue a prisoner being held at Lamar Hattie Palace. He's known as Malak. Angel to his fellow Mujahideen. Start by checking the target's VI on your iDroid. The Soviets captured him and took him to the ruins of a palace. His family was subsequently killed in an airstrike on his village. The Soviets scorched Earth operation and wiped it off the map. Mine is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. If you can manage to rescue other prisoners as well, each one will add a bonus to our pay. Cool. When you see them, I'm sure your conscience will tell you what to do. All right, well, we'll try and get as many out as possible. This is what we have fault and recovery for. This is what it's all about, baby. Be careful down there, boss. 
Yay! He speaks! And he speaks to dog. Good. Good dog. Yes! Good dog. You can pet the dog. Game of the year. Game of every year. Game of my life. Best dog. Best game. Best dog. Amazing. Is this the medicinal plant you found, sir? Alright, let's go. No riding into no riding into battle this time. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is the only buddy I, I'll ever need. We'll of course try quiet. We will try quiet. Just to see what she's like. But this is my boy right here. Ooh, there you go. Spots the wild animal. And it pops up for us. That's a That's a wild animal, alright. Uh, sneak up and stun the vulture and then pick it up and carry it with us so we can take it to our weird mother base zoo found an enemy oh there you go nice that's so cool <laughs> that bird was just about to take off to clouds approaching Let me just quickly take this bird with us. Enemy presence detected. Oh, you have to fault on them because they're so big, which is fair enough. I'm just going to let those guys go. Extraction Please. What? Why can I not just... Okay, I'm not allowed up there, that's fine. The objective is to rescue and extract a Mujahid captured by the Soviets. He's being held in the ruins of Lamar Khati Palace, as are a lot of POWs. Civilians, guerrillas, suspected guerrillas. The Soviets have turned the place into their own black site. However, we've only been asked to rescue one of the prisoners. He's known as Malak, angel to his fellow Mujahideen. The client is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Just a shortened version of what he said before. Dude, D Dog putting in putting in the hard work. Good. Good. When you wanna pet the dog? Wait a minute, what the fuck? Analysis Oh Dude. Wait a minute. Dude's got gear on. Hold on. Let's get out of here, D-Dog. I was like, why the hell are his eyes glowing red? I was like, are we going to be about to stumble into a, a weird sort of skulls situation? Similar to the skulls unit. It's always nice when you have a tactical advantage when you revisit a location that you checked out in uh, in free roam. <laughs> you can tell that when it's like, oh yes, look at all the things that you discovered. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, but there's going to be multiple prisoners here. I wonder how protected their helmet is. Thanks, D Dog. He's. Ah, oh, he's finding the prisoners for me, too. This is the perfect mission to take him on. This is the perfect mission to take him on. Yeah, so you can keep one busy. Love that. was uh that was a close one as soon as i started walking this direction i like literally had that internal voice go you you've chosen the wrong enemy to go for first <laughs> Sandstorm approaching. part of me is like i wonder if you could like command the dog to do like a stealth takedown how cool would that be 
if you could do that. Where are your friends? You don't know anything, huh? Get down. Get down. All right. We're recruiting. He's a C rank. We'll recruit it. Good timing for a sandstorm. You gotta extract him. Oh shit, a prisoner just died. Dude, we're on a time limit here. A prisoner just got killed. We need to be faster than this. Extraction failed. Oh no! And I didn't realize yes, we're in a sandstorm. I was literally just blindly extracting. Duh. Oh, that's a shame. Alright, D-Dog's following along. This is where we put D-Dog's marking skills to the test. Like, I wonder if there's going to be any that are, like, kind of near me or around me. Clouds approaching. That haven't been marked. You can't hold up from the... That's that's fair enough. That is fair enough. I was like... Okay, you need to hold up from behind. I was like, I wonder if we could hold them up from in front and, like, stick it in their face. But no, that doesn't work. Analysis complete. Which is fair enough. Ooh, 40%? <laughs> Enemy right. presence detected. The map has been updated. I need to go upstairs. You found another prisoner, buddy? Okay, further away. Good to know. Alright, there's the staircase. Explored this area before, but only once, so I actually need to remember how to navigate. Just be patient. Because I'm going to deal with this guy first. Nice. Oh, blueprint. Where are the others? Thank you. Speak. No. He was moved to here. The target's been transferred. Oh shit. You sent the information to your map screen. You're gonna need more information to pinpoint the location. The map has been updated. Okay, we're gonna interrogate some people. We can get the prisoners out that I hear. Okay, he's gone to a supply outpost. God, if the if fighting could stop happening in my goddamn mother base, that would be great. If I extract him here, we're gonna alert some people. So I need to go out this way. And there's a dude up here. This dude's telling us nothing. On the ground. Analysis complete. He sucks as well. Imagine being imagine being a shitty soldier and resisting. Okay. There we go. We pulled him away a bit. Which means we're safe to get this dude out as well. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I'll get you, buddy. We unfortunately lost one prisoner. But we'll get you out of here. OK. 
Okay. You ever been to the back of the power plant? Ooh, they're having a conversation. Now you extract it and you where the target is. I'm updating your map information. Take a look. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Smak kromeshna. Представляю. Ладно, я пошел. Давай, увидимся. There's a there's a cave near the power plant. can see we've already destroyed this radar. Okay. Just mark that guy. That dude's turning around. Let's back out. That's the radio equipment right there as well. And here's the power. Why did he go this way? <laughs> Why did he do it like that? Okay. I'm here for... I guess I can get intel from this room. That's good to know. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, man? What's going on? Is this the information I need for our prisoner? Intel file extraction arrived at another base. We've analyzed the intel file you discovered. Orders for their transport route. Okay, your map information's updated. The target is inside Yaha Obu's supply outpost. Find him and extract him. Cool. Map has been updated. Nice. Oh yeah, this is where we listen to the we listen to the toilet tape. The little the what I'm assuming is the Johnny reference. Okay, um, D Dog hasn't marked any other prisoners, so I'm going to assume. Well, let me get a little bit further away just to be safe. Oh, people are waking up now. Move. Analysis complete. Ooh. B ranking with like a good skill too. B ranking? Analysis complete. C ranking with a skill? Oh guys, looks like work my work's not done here. Looks like my work's not done here. I've got some extracting to do before I'm out of here. Come on, pick this, pick this dude up. Why will it not let me? It's not gonna let me pick this dude up. <laughs> oh, I have a zero percent chance of extracting him. Why? Are they, why is? 
Get up. Okay. Now I can pick him up. So, when they're just lying down on the ground, you can't pick them up, which does make sense. You should probably take, you should probably make sure that they're sleeping first. Alright, get your skill. I don't know about this dude. Oh, he's got a B for the support team. Roger that. Look at him go. That's a man. Oh, he's checking on the prisoner. Gotcha. Gotcha. Where are your friends? Right. He's the prisoner now. I should probably extract him. He he does have a B. He does have a B rating. Go to sleep. I need to get my weapon back. Give me a sec. Let me just chuck you there. Extract you. Give me this back. Thank you. Alright. Now let's get these two. D Dog did a D Dog did a great job today. I'm very proud of that boy. I think these one dude's just on the light. And another dude's on a turret. Okay. Well, let's do this guy first. Ooh, you hear that, D-Dog? That's those are your friends. Post captured. Gotcha. Love that. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Yeah. Right. Good recruitment session, guys. Good recruitment session. All right. Now I don't have a horse, and I don't think there's a car. You gotta extract him. No cars. All right. I'm not. I'm not getting them to drop off a car. We will just run it, D-Dog. We'll just run. Because we're speedy boys in the night. And I can't even climb up a, a rock face. We are the night. We own the night. We run the night. Alright. We're at this outpost. We've been to this outpost a couple of times now. Oh, he's good. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. The one that I want to extract is getting further and further away from me. The main gate's going to be tough. We know that there's an entrance in the back, so I might. Analysis complete. I might go for that instead. But we could also look at turning the power off. Oh, night vision goggles guy, right? Yep. Going to spot us from a distance. That's going to be the problem. He found a weapon, nice. That dude is not... There we go. Caution. Sandstorm approaching. Sandstorm. That's decent timing. That's decent timing. Это 
не хочу умирать! Where are the others? Lie down. I said lie down, bro. Only 40% because we're in a storm. Right. Turning the power off and under the cover of a storm. Perfect way to just slip right in the front entrance. And there's our prisoner. He's already asleep. Got him in the face. Oops. One of those bullets went too far and alerted them. That's a shame. He just fell on he just fell on the other dude. He just fell on the other dude and knocked him out. That's so good. That's so good. You ever think you could get a little risky with a with a headshot and it doesn't work? I didn't know that they... okay. I didn't know that they knew where we were at this point. Oh, they don't. They're just randomly shooting in this direction? What? That's weird. Okay. Keep them busy, D-Dog. No! Just shot my dog! Jesus Christ! How dare you? Have the decency to be non-lethal like me. Oh my god, if my dog gets killed out there. I swear to god. I need to help out my dog at this point. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're good, we got everyone. You come with me. Analysis complete. That one stray bullet dismantled that whole operation. The one stray bullet that alerted these guys. And then from there, from there it was all gone. But we got some more prisoners as well. Analysis complete. A lot of recruits this mission. My favorite thing was the dude falling off the ladder. Analysis complete. Hey buddy, is, is you the one that we're after? Yeah. There we go. That's the target. Badly wounded. We can rule out a full extraction. Oh. You have to do it by chopper. Call the chopper from your iDroid box. Then carry the target to it. Okay. The map has been updated. Well, let me get these other dudes out by Fulton, at least. <sighs> Complete. Right, we'll get these dudes. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Hello, guys. I hear you're in need of rescue. Analysis complete. Ooh. A plus. Sir, you're going to be very useful back at Mother Base. 
This is why extracting multiple prisoners is good stuff. And we get bonuses for each one. Okay, you're not as good as the other guy, but I'll still take you. I'll still take you. Oh god, they're waking up. They're waking up. We're getting out of here. Through the back gate. Call my dog. Okay. I can't just go through that little narrow piece of land. I need to strictly stick to the path. Everybody's getting woken up now. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry, your father's the client, sir. Until we find out the whole time that it was a fake father. Interesting. He seems to be very adamant that his father's dead. Out to heaven? Oh, dude. Hang on. Someone's shooting at my helicopter. Oh, no, my helicopter is just... just decimated a one soldier, I think. That one soldier that I ignored. Yep! <laughs> Peak one! Pequod just straight up annihilated that one dude. Let's get out of here, boy. That was a fun infiltration that uh, went a little haywire at the end. What a what a, what a infiltration of mine doesn't go a little bit. Uh, a little bit haywire. Amazing mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Did he S rank me? <gasps> he S ranked me. Extracted three prisoners being held at Lama Cut Palace. I missed one because he got killed. And I still got an S rank. That's weird. But I like it. I'll take it. Nice. Wonderful. Good old Malak. Alright, well I wonder what's gonna happen. I wonder what happens with that dude. He's like, please! Take me with you! Don't hand me over to someone I don't know. Which is fair enough. It's totally fair enough. Boss, that target you extracted, Malak, is saying that he's never heard of our client. What's more, he says his village was destroyed long before he was ever taken prisoner. Apparently it fell victim to some sort of disease, then was completely burned to the ground. Malik was out on a mission at the time, and that's the reason why he alone survived. But the question is, who hired us to find him? According to Malik, he saw strange soldiers snooping around the village when he got back. Turns out they were members of Cypher Strike Force XOF. My theory is they wanted to get their hands on Malik to question or silence him before the Soviets could get to him. Cypher was just using us to cover things up. All that crap about Malik's relative was a front to convince us to retrieve him. But an entire colony just wiped off the map. It sounds a lot like the Hamid during the Honeybee incident. All I know, boss, is there's no way in hell I'm handing Malik over to Cypher. I've decided to bring him back to Mother Base instead. He's one of us now. We told the client through a cutout that the target was killed. For some reason, though, they still paid us everything we were owed. Cypher's obviously up to something. This is probably just another preemptive cleanup operation to them. But to Malik, he lost his village, his family, everything. And he wants his revenge. In other words, he's one of us. 
What's interesting about that, what's interesting about that is I'm pretty sure from Ground Zeroes, um, there's a tape with Skullface. Skullman? Skullface? There's a tape with that dude. Um, and he's talking about his origins or something like that. Something about like a village burning to the ground. And it's like, that's what instantly reminded me uh, of that. And I was like, I swear he spoke, that dude has spoken about that. So to see his face pop up with the XOF is like, uh, it's not too far fetched. Uh, we got another cassette tape, which is good. Elite soldier. Dude, nice. I love that we got an elite soldier. That's always good. Mechatronics specialist. Anesthesia specialist. Transportation specialist, dude. Yes. Nice. Look at all those B rankings. We nailed it. Those are some good extractions. That was worth the chaos to get all of those extractions. Building up my mother base. It's nice to see that, like, there are missions that you do that are, like, not necessarily directly linked to, like, big story stuff happening. Scientist Emmerich wants us to find him so he can defect. He should be inside Serac power plant. Make contact with him. Alright, they want us to do it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just interesting to see what's going on there. Interesting to see what's going on there. Uh, in regards to, um... All of that stuff. Let's listen to that, uh, let's listen to that cassette tape while we've got it. At Mother Base number five, training D-Dog. DD makes a pretty good partner, huh, boss? Too early to say. Yeah? Just seeing him come back makes me real proud. What breed is he? He's not a husky. You're right. Siberian husky is a cross between a spitz-type dog and a wolf. That thing DD might have some wolf blood in him, too. He isn't just smart. He's also shown remarkable judgment. If he doesn't do what you want him to, he's just doing what he thinks is right in the situation. And he's steady under fire. Remember, he's no lap dog. But learn his strengths, and you'll understand each other soon enough. You'll make one hell of a team. Ocelot. Why don't you take it upon yourself to train him? Huh? Why? Yeah. When's the last time you heard a wild cat raising a dog? I have an eye for him. I knew at first glance he'd make the right partner for you. <laughs> and I figured it was about time he got out into the world. So you passed him off on me. There you see. I knew you liked him. I don't know about that yet. I still think he's trying to figure me out too. I'll spend some more time with him. You'll see how helpful he can be. What about you? I prefer to work alone. Ocelots don't hunt in packs. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, I'm glad you like him. Didi's really taken to you, too. And to going on your walks. Don't be shy about taking him with you in the future. I'll think about it. Interactions between Ocelot and Big Boss are so interesting. It's so casual. Like, he's just at Mother Base. It's, it's so bizarre. Like, just things that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Because we've never had Ocelot in this capacity before. That's why it's kind of weird. Oh... Thank you, Scowling Whale. I'm sure we'll find a place for you somewhere. Cool. Well... Side Ops. Make contact with Emmerich. Shall we do that? I think so. Let's make contact with Emmerich. I want to do other ones and keep going, but this is the important Side Ops. Uh, so we'll move to this Side Ops location. Uh, I can at least land in the ruins where... Quiet and I had our little encounter, and then we can go and find Huey, and he can answer for whatever he did nine years ago. Let's get into it. Can't wait till we get our, uh, can't wait to oh, look at that boy I can't wait till we get our medical team at like level 69 and then they have enough skills where they are confident enough to operate on big boss's face and pull his horns out and go hey man 
you don't have these in the future, we just need to like file them down or something. We'll file them down, rip them out, give you a nice little face. Uh, someone actually did point something out, uh, which is uh, very curious actually, um, which is related to Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, where Big Boss reveals himself to, to Snake in the graveyard, and he was saying how like, bits of him were like, reconstructed? Um, from like, other pieces of, I think, Solidus, um, and, and stuff like that, so... Interesting. Um... But I'm not sure, you know, they necessarily had... ...had this in mind for, for Big Boss story-wise. So it's like, regardless of whether he was rebuilt from his perfect clone or not, um... This is still, like, an acceptable, like, retcon or change for me that I don't really mind. Like, it, it's fine that eventually he'll get it removed from his head. Um, and there are just, like, you know, it heals over time. Maybe he's a bit vain. Maybe he wears a little bit of makeup to cover the scar. Uh, it's nothing that's, like, breaking, uh, breaking the game apart for me, you know? We got a little gathering... Over here, though. A little gathering of some friends. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll let them be. We need to be heading this way. Um, so let's do that. We're still bringing D-Dog, even though I've got to go 1,500 meters. Um, but I've never gone this way before. And we've got three checkpoints close by that we can... Uh, that we can try and either sneak past, capture, etc. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep we'll keep pushing through, and it's a good opportunity to like run through and talk about talk about the game. Uh, it looks like it's heating up at this point. Like there's a lot of setup, there's a lot of uh, chucking you into the game, just letting you have a fun time and explore things. And you can still do that in side ops, um, and then sometimes like the story will just start happening when you least expect it. When you complete a side op or enter an area, um, I really like this game, like intensely. Um, too early to call if it's like my favorite. I don't think it'll end up being my favorite. Is like my early impression. Um, I want to do like a proper tier list uh, for the Metal Gear Solid series, but like sort of like separate it by category. Like which game has the best music, best gameplay, best story, best characters, etc., etc. Best secret handshake between Snake and Otacon, you know, that's obviously like a hard one, you don't know who's going to win that game uh, in the tier list. Um, but it's like, I love this game to pieces already. Um, and I, I'm very lenient and accepting of the fact that the story uh, is not in your face happening in lengthy cutscenes. It's a lot of situational storytelling in the world and how you do stuff and navigate the open world and how you choose to do the situations. Um, like, a lot of the things that are in some of the cutscenes, you're doing in gameplay, if that makes sense. There just isn't that heavy dialogue and stuff. And that is a big disappointment for me. That is a big disappointment for me. Is I love... I love hearing Big Boss talk. Uh, I love what he has to say. I love Big Boss as a character. It's he's super compelling. Um, his characterization from 1964 uh, so far to 1984 um, has been has been like an insane journey. We've spent so much more time with Big Boss uh, than than Solid Snake. We we got uh, Metal Gear Solid One and Two and Four uh, with Solid Snake. Um, which was good character development for him. Uh, but we've had Metal Gear Solid 3, we've had Portable Ops, uh, with Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes, and, uh, the Phantom Pain, um, with Big Boss. As well as, uh, we also have Metal Gear 1 and 2 to eventually look forward to, where we start seeing Big Boss and Solid Snake, um, coming together on opposite sides of, uh, the conflict. Um... And I'm just, I'm really looking forward to like rounding it out with that, which I think is, which I think is really cool. Being like, doing it almost backwards in a sense is like Metal Gear 1 and 2, um, being the last ones that we, that we see. Mm. 
но я слышал, что по крайней мере один человек выжил. Не может быть! Наверное, еще просто тело не нашли. Самолет загорелся в воздухе. Никто не мог выжить после такого. Не жаль. Пока. Пока. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Yep, I should probably remember to always stay down. It's like my my one thing that kind of just ruins my chances at successfully stealthing. Cause I'm like, yeah, I'll just I'll just be standing up. I'll just chill here. Hi guys, I'm over here. Um. Analysis complete. Ooh, B and a skill, huh? Analysis complete. We might just we might just skip on skip on through. I reckon. Analysis complete. We'll just skip through it. We don't want to alert one checkpoint and then everyone be on guard. Um, yeah, this is why everyone wants a Metal Gear 1 and 2 remake in the Fox engine. Because it would just perfectly, perfectly bridge the games. Uh, but I'm, I, I love to see how Big Boss has grown. As a character, even if it's in the wrong direction, even if he's like, we're watching him grow into a villain, he's the bad guy. Um, but I just think it's, I just think it's awesome. Um, there's not a single character, uh, like Big Boss in terms of his growth and development. And then the only one who comes closer to that is Solid Snake himself, you know. We don't know much about Solidus except for what we have of him in Metal Gear Solid 2 and how it establishes him as like, you know, the 40, 43rd president. Um, and then what happens to him being essentially the false remains of Big Boss. It's like, I want a prequel. I want a Solidus prequel, you know? Because that, be, that would be really cool to explore. As well as a prequel with the boss around World War 2, like this. There's so many... There's so many storylines that I that I want <laughs> to to have explored. I'm just so interested in them. Do we have to go the long way around? We do. Because I was supposed to go that way. Oh, we can capture the legendary brown bear while we're here. Um, we'll do that another time. We'll capture the legendary brown bear another time. Focus on going in in the right direction, getting distracted. Actually, talking about talking about the game, but um, I can see I can see why people would be upset about this game in particular when they're like, ah, where's this? Where's like the story and cutscenes? And ah, oh, it was just like a knee jerk reaction from the knee jerk reaction of Metal Gear Solid 4. And people's like, Kojima just did you know a reaction to the previous game's feedback and then just changed everything. But like. You know, it really just brings into question, it's like, does Metal Gear Solid work in an open world formula? Um, because does it take away from the identity of what we've come to know with Metal Gear Solid? Uh, by sacrificing the story and the, the, the length of the storytelling and all of the dialogue uh, and instead uh, enhancing or focusing on one element of uh, the Metal Gear Solid uh, series, which is the f the freedom of choice in gameplay, you know. It's hard. There's people that prefer the gameplay element of Metal Gear Solid, and there's people that will prefer the story element of Metal Gear Solid, and there's people that will like both, and there's people who are just down to take in the whole experience before they give a proper opinion on it, and I'm one of those people. Like I can, I can always recognize when there are disappointments or there are things that kind of miss the mark for me a little bit. Um, and this game certainly has those points, but this game is by no means like ruined f because of it. You know, uh, there's nothing that's like being like, nah, I don't like this game because of this one thing. Like there's so many good things about this game that I just like am really enjoying. Uh, the gameplay being obviously the highlight, like it certainly, certainly knocks it out of the park in that regard. Guard post captured. Just got to be quick and efficient about it, you know. No room for no room for nonsense. 
not alerting any guard posts today. So far, at least. You gonna extract him? Yes, I am. I I like how the I like how open world fits with with Metal Gear Solid because it's cool. Um, I kind of wish that there was. I'm, that, this is kind of what I'm actually hoping for with the power plant. Is um, Metal Gear Solid is really good when you're like in an exterior, you know, and you've got to like stealth around in tight quarters and like figure your way around. Um, so like Metal Gear Solid Five being mostly outdoors is very interesting because there's a lot of freedom of movement, uh, a lot of big, but a lot of big sight lines. But what there isn't is like. Like the the nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island, you know, like how how there's multiple levels to it, how you're like sneaking around, how there's all these different things going on, like all of that kind of stuff. Uh, that's something that I that I really that I really love. Like whenever we're sneaking around inside a place, um, and all of the mainline Metal Gear Solid games has that, uh, but most of this game is spent outdoors in Afghanistan, and I'm wondering. Are we going to change location at some point? Are we going to be indoors uh, for like a big portion of the game at one point? Um, or at least is this power plant going to be one of those things? You know, we're about to we're about to find out. You know, as we kidnap Huey Emmerich, I can't wait to see what he looks like um, in Fox Engine because we've seen him in like graphic novel style artwork. Um, and we've seen his like character model from from Peace Walker, but you know we've had we've had updates since then. You know, like Big Boss does not look like exactly like Big Boss uh, from from Peace Walker. They go through that. They go through the Fox Engine changes. You know. Analysis complete. I want this guy. So I'm excited to see how Huey translates to the Fox Engine. Uh, we know from uh, we know from at least Ground Zeroes uh, opening credits because there was a cassette tape. Oh, I love how the guy in his sleep woke up. Um, we know from at least Ground Zeroes in the credits, like his voice was still the same. It was Christopher Randolph. It was Christopher Randolph. Um, so we can only assume that that's going to be exactly the same. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. They're gonna stop. Cool. They're not gonna stop. That was almost a close one. Okay, let's push on. Um, almost losing my train of thought. Pretty much have lost my train of thought, but that's fine. You get the point. You get what I'm trying to say. Got distracted by got distracted by the truck. Oh yeah, I want to know what Huey looks like. Um, because like in, because they even reference it in in Peace Walker. They're like, uh, oh, deja vu, huh? Because Snake meeting Huey. It's like it's it's such a Snake and Otacon thing, but it's weird because it's like, but these are like the bad guy versions. It's such like a weird parallel. Um, and then because he sounds the same, I can't differentiate the character, and I'm like. Otacon's such a nice dude. He's a bit of a sad guy, but he's he's a nice dude, and I love him. But, like... Huey is supposed to be a not not very nice dude. According to how Huey feels... Uh, sorry, about how Hal feels about him. You know? Enemy presence detected. And I'll, I'll, I'll... I trust... I trust Otacon's... Analysis. I trust Otacon's view. If he says that Huey is a bad dude, I'm gonna trust that Huey is a bad dude, you know? Is that our power? That is our power. Okay. 
All right, now apparently there's a cave behind. I, I would assume that maybe. Could be talking about that. That's a cave. That looks like a cave, right? There? This dude's got the light just going right down the line. Let's go off to the side. You managed to surround power plant. Emmerich should be beyond the gate at the northern edge of the facility. We have no idea what he's doing back there. But let's go find out. So near the northern edge of the facility, which is right there. Okay, we gotta make it through this place. Well, looks like it's not a exterior power plant. It's, uh, sorry, interior power plant. It is an exterior. Uh, so, no... No s cool base facility thing. We're still outdoors. And, like, that's that's fine. Like, it doesn't... That doesn't hugely bother me. It's just, like, I feel like that's kind of where Metal Gear strength uh, almost gets to be at its strongest when it's doing, like, interior stealth. Analysis complete. All right, these dudes all have helmets on. So this is gonna be like. Analysis complete. Where are your friends? Oh my God! Come on, man. Thank you. The Specialist, huh? Updated. Thank you. You're out of here. Ah, uh, they heard. They heard him yell out. I should have knocked him out. That was dumb of me. Ooh, hang on. Ah, oh, as if. Come on. Yes. That was. Uh, that was quick. All right. Ah, oh, they're wearing helmets. I'm not going to be able to do what I want. Analysis complete. No need to call it in, guys. Yes. No need to call it in, guys. This is the day that you need to kind of slack off a bit and be like, Oh, you know what? It's fine. Ooh, we can climb up there. Ah, oh, has he got the night vision goggles on? He does have the night vision goggles on. Analysis complete. Or like, you know, thermal goggles, whatever. Hope hopefully they... Oh my god, he's calling out to my dog. He's like saying, beat it. I actually kind of love that. Because my he's he's inconspicuous, except for the... Uh, except for the eye patch. But I love that. So we can climb up there, because there was a ladder... But let's just have a look at this. Stick to the outside of the perimeter. Detected. The map has been updated. This is these are the these are the challenging ones. Dude, we need to destroy that anti-air radar though. Because I want there to be a chopper point closer to this power plant in future. I need it. It takes so long to get here. Should I just... Oh, I could throw a grenade and alert everyone. Oh, actually, this is a good opportunity. Alright, I'm going to do... This. What? What? Hang on, what is happening here? What the fuck? I swear to god that I made, like, direct contact there. It was already too late, like, he'd already called it, the alarm's off. I don't care that I took him out while he was talking to the dude. There we go. That's what we want. Ah! 
Oh, my legs! My legs! That was that was a bit high. <laughs> that was a that was a bit of a drop. It was worth it to sacrifice the radar. That was an unfortunate drop. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Is the radar still active? Damn it! All right. You made it to Surat Power Plant. Let's try that again. Should be beyond the gate at the northern edge of the facility. We have no idea what he's doing back there. But let's go find out. Analysis complete. Okay. Weather will clear shortly. Okay. Everyone's kind of around that way. Where are your friends? Alright, you're gonna be the same. You suck. Um I want to make sure you can't talk this time. Before I let you go. However, however, we still need to do an explosive to blow up this radar. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. So I'm thinking. Oh, I could turn the power off. Do like a quick little turn the power off move. So exposed. Analysis complete. Especially when you got a dude like this here. Oh, and a dude like that there. I'll let this dude come a little bit closer because I don't want to knock him out when he's in the middle of a pathway. We could turn this power off, put C4 on the anti-air radar. Okay. It's fine. Um, let me pick you up. Put you down here. Nope, that's not, that's not it. Just put him down. Okay. Um... Here's the plan. We're going to do like a simultaneous... Simultaneous little... Little thing here. Oh, really? There we go. Okay. Where I do a bit of this, just do a bit of this, and a bit of that, and a bit of this, and a bit of that. There we go. There we go turn off the power. Turn off the power at the power plant. So if I want a helicopter to pick me up, oh, right in the zone too. That's cool. So we can get dropped off like in the power plant. Okay, check that out. Yeah. 
Analysis complete. Where are the others? I'll speak. Get down. Here comes these. Oh, yeah. It's still 100%, but I think it's going to fail. Right. I think that was pretty good. Destroyed the anti-air radar. Turned off the power. We need to go through here, which takes us into this area. So there you go. So our lovely friend wants to defect, huh? I'm going to give him a bit of the old hip hip for what he did to us nine years ago. Or for what he at least contributed to. Arrived at Mother Base. What he conspired against us with. No! Don't credits roll me. I don't want to miss stuff, but there's credits. So I'm just gonna look away. And I'll listen. When's it gonna be good to look? <coughs> Surely by now, right? Oh my god, there's his voice. It's not operational yet. The remote piloting and AI control haven't reached the application stage. There we go. Anything about an AI. That was Coldman's mistake ten years ago. Be that as it may, we'll need to modify postural control <gasps> to accommodate a human pilot. I share your urgency, but we need more time to finish it. Right. Planning on leaving us, Doctor? Huh? We're taking your legs back! Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> gonna kill me. Oh, that's classic. Sahalanthropus is mine now. Sahalanthropus. That's the classic Emmerich piss in their pants routine. Listen, I may dwell in the dark, but I refuse to be judged by your standards. Traitor! I hope your friends give you what's coming to you. Take him to the base. Yes, sir. Transporting Emmerich to the base camp and returning to base. We're shutting down. All units, strike camp and clear up. Dude. We still have use for it. Just running away with him. Dude, there's the fucking metal gear. I probably didn't need, I probably could have just watched the credits of this one to be honest, because all of the major players appear right at the beginning. Dude. Huey looks good, he looks different. That's Zeke, right? That has to be. That's Zeke. And he's trying to do some shit with it, and Skullface is trying to rush him. Episode 12, Hellbound, okay. So you had to do that side mission to get here to open up the main mission. Side op completed. No doubt about it, boss. That man is your extraction target. Emmerich, 
Analysis the system complete. just disappeared into that cave. And the man who was with it. Complete. The map the must has been know updated. something about what's going Clouds on. Approaching. He was transferred to the Soviet space camp. I've marked it on the map. Make your way to that base camp. Where are your friends? Extract Dr. Emmerich. Dude. There's some intel up there as well. I was not expecting this to lead into a main mission uh, from another mission, you know? So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit surprised. I'm a, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit surprised. Um, that intro was so cool. Huey is the, the dude that the guys are talking about, like the scientist with the machine legs, because I was like, Huey's got the, like the mechanical, like sort of wheelchair type deal scenario. He's got the mechanical wheelchair thing that's like <laughs> very slow. Our introduction to Huey in Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid 5 is him getting pushed down the stairs <laughs> by the bad guy. Coldman and Skull, uh, Skullface have both done it. This is like all those, this is like all those things where it's just like, um, 10 years after the events of Peace Walker, the events of Peace Walker are just happening again, but slightly different. It's so weird uh, how it's just like a Peace Walker remake because it's like boss is going through the facility. We then see Coldman and Huey having a row about the like Peace Walker, like the Metal Gear, like talking about like it's not ready, you can't do this, blah blah blah. Pushes him down the stairs, like no, I'm taking it, it's mine. And then in Metal Gear Solid Five. Boss sneaks into the facility. Skullface and Huey are talking about Metal Gear. He's like, no, you can't do this. Uh, and then pushes him down the stairs. Uh, except the point in this one is that Huey contacted Big Boss and they found out about it. But it's like, it's so it's so similar. Uh, which is which is so weird. But, but guys, uh, as I was not expecting to jump into episode 12 Hellbound uh, this time, I will round this episode out now and bring it to a close but we will continue uh with episode 12 next episode we'll extract huey and finally get some answers of our own but uh he looks great he looks different um he pissed his pants these are all these are all good points um yeah like he looks great in in fox engine and i like that they've changed it so he's got little machine legs like phase one iron man legs except it looks like they were given to him because they're like, We're I'm taking your legs away. And then they've got like these walkers that look like they've uh, got the similar technology. Um, that's that's really cool. We're getting into some meaty story stuff now, which I'm which I'm really enjoying. So I can't wait to see more uh, next episode, guys. Uh, join me then. Thank you so much.